telling the truth when it comes to that photo op stunt that they pulled at St. John's Church. First off, they claimed that protesters were throwing things. That's why they had to bump them back so forcibly, they said. Well, our CNN team was on the ground. Teams, I should say. We had many of them. They did not see any projectiles. Then uh, officials from the administration claimed that they did not use tear gas. All right, well, they used pepper balls and smoke flashbangs, which cause these images that you're seeing right now. So, all right, if you want to split hairs there, it's a distinction without a difference, right? Pepper balls and flashbangs share many similar effects of tear gas, including excessive tearing, lacrimation, which CNN's team on the ground witnessed. They experienced this. You can see the folks here in front of you experiencing it. The president wants a correction from the media that tear gas was not used. But in fact, by his own CDC's classification, it was tear gas. The CDC notes the term tear gas is often used to describe different substances that are used for crowd control. Quote, riot control agents, sometimes referred to as tear gas, are chemical compounds that temporarily make people unable to function, causing irritation to the eyes, mouth, throat, lungs, and skin. So all of this leads to the question, if you can't be honest about your tactics that are verifiable, they're on camera, how the hell do you expect people to trust law enforcement? With me now is CNN's Daniel Dale. The president, Daniel, gave an interview to Fox News radio host Brian Kilmeade today, and he was also asked about the photo op at the center of this incident. Let's listen. I said, go to the church. I didn't know protesters or not. Nobody tells me that. They say, yes, sir, we'll go to the church. So we walked over to the church. It was very fast. I think it was very symbolic. I did hold up a Bible. I think that's a good thing, not a bad thing. And many religious leaders loved it. Take yeah. a look at Franklin Graham, so respected, and, and so many others. Uh, take a look at Robert Jeffress. Right. These are all people you know. They thought it was a great symbol, you. and I thought it was a great symbol. All right, Daniel. Over to you. <laughs> give us the, give us the straight deal here. This country has a whole lot of religious leaders, so I have no doubt that there were many who loved it, but many prominent religious leaders in the Washington area and elsewhere denounced it strongly. The Catholic Archbishop in Washington, Wilton Gregory, was sharply critical. He said the late Pope John Paul II would not condone a stunt like this. Uh, speaking to Anderson Cooper of CNN, the Episcopal Bishop of for Washington says she was outraged that her church had been used as a prop. And even the Southern Baptist Convention, you know, not raving liberals, issued statements, its leaders issue, issued statements ranging from sharply critical to a more veiled, but certainly not strongly in favor. Brianna. Okay, so in this interview that the president had here, I mean, he took he took what seemed like a number of liberties here. He was asked about the reporting that he was taken to a secure bunker during the heat of the protests. Our reporting indicating that that was really what stuck in his craw that kind of led to him going across the street for this photo op. But here is what the president said about his time in the bunker. It was a false report. Uh, I wasn't down. I went down uh, during the day. And I was there for a tiny, little short period of time, and it was much more for an inspection. There was no problem during the day. These problems are during the night, not during the day. And I go down, I've gone down uh, two or three times, all for inspection. And you go there, someday you may need it, but you go there, and I went down, I looked at it, it was during the day, it was not a problem. And I read about it, like a big thing. There was never a problem, we never had a problem. I think it's almost like the repeating of we never had a problem, put it through the translator box, actually we had a problem. Is that fair, Daniel? Yeah, I mean, obviously I wasn't in the bunker or in the White House, so I'll, I'll be more cautious here in asserting the president was false than I am with stuff that we can see with our own, own eyes. But what he said here contradicts news accounts, not only from CNN, but from the New York Times and from Fox News, the, the very outlet that employs the host he was speaking to here. All of us reported that the president was rushed to the bunker by Secret Service on, on Friday night, not during the day, and not for an inspection, but because there were real concerns for his safety.